Hello everyone, this is Jared Miller. I'm going to be showing you just a quick little combo that I do um, and I had a request to make a quick little breakdown of it. Um, so I'm not really going to dive into too much of the theory of planes and quadrants and all that stuff. I'm just going to kind of show you where the different spots connect and kind of go from there. Um, so the actual combo itself, and you can kind of approach it from a number of different uh, starting points basically, but the one that uh, I was referencing was this here. You go under the leg back behind the back like that, around, and like that. Um, and so basically, uh, and again, not diving too much into the planes and, and everything idea, but a lot of what you're going to do is, basically you're going to think of it as doing just a general figure eight on the side of you, and then how you do it under your leg is just, there's the point, if you imagine what you're drawing, your figure eight, there's like, a, there's like an X that you're drawing, and so there's a point there right in the middle Essentially, you're going to put your leg in that middle spot, so it should just come up under front and then back behind. So and you can pretty much do it continuously like that. Um, and so that's the first portion of it. And that one's probably the more weird, awkward one at first to get used to, just exactly you know where does your leg go. Um, you can kind of see here um, that I'll put my leg forward in the front to kind of get under it. And then as it swings up and around, I kind of cock it back, and that's how I allow myself to get a little bit um, of room to get the spin back around behind it without just crashing into my leg like that. I just kind of release it back so that I can do what it needs to do. Um, so then from there, another, again, the same principle is you're doing your figure eights on one side. Um, of course, here I'm using my dominant hand, my right hand. Um, and so what it is is... You're going to complete this motion here on the other side of your body behind your back. So you do the figure eight like you normally would, and then as it comes from behind your back and down to come around right there, you just bring that portion there behind you on the other side of your back. So you're still doing the same exact motion, you're just changing where this stick ends up in front of you. So you go back behind you all in one motion. So then where those connect is you go here, and then you're just right into it. And that's how you get the first little starting bit of it. Again, I'll kind of show you there. Um, and then from there, what I like to do is just go up to my shoulder. So I go leg, then behind the back, to shoulder. Um, and then from there you can kind of do, you know, whatever you really want. Even then you can approach this differently if you want to start here, do your behind the back, into your under the leg, into your shoulder, you know, whatever. I mean, you know, the, again, the options are all yours, just kind of showing you where I connect it. Um, so I'll go there. And then what I like to do is do another, so when I go up and then behind my shoulder, I'll just go straight down behind me again to another behind the back, so it's here to behind the back. And then I'll just flip around and then do one like right here. So you can see that. And then as it comes down over here, you just spin around and then you're there. So it all comes together. Like that. Now it's kind of a fun one that I like. You know, it kind of helps you move around. It gets uh, you know, more options for your range of motion. Um, it just kind of has a little bit more flair to your spinning. And again, you can approach that from any angle. And at any point, you can just throw in one piece and then just switch to whatever you want to do. Um, and again, with all of these, you can do forward and reverse directions. So like how I start here, you can do the same thing underneath. So um, a lot of that is just basically once you figure out one way, then you just figure out the other way. Um, and again, figure out everything on both sides of you so you can kind of um, you know do it that way too. But um, and that's basically it for that combo. I know it's kind of a bit of a weird one. If there's any particular individual step that you would like to see done a little bit more um, in depth, just uh, feel free to comment and let me know. Thanks.